This video we're going to look at Washington running mesh at a condensed set setup, whether it's bunch, like it is on this play right here, or the double squeeze. Obviously this is a great way to run the mesh. It's typically you're running mesh trying to beat man to man, and of course Washington being the top passing team in NCAA football, saw a lot of different things from defenses trying to slow them down. We'll take a look just out of their bunch of condensed sets. We obviously have a lot of film. This is their number one pass as far as what I saw breaking it down, so we'll get right into it with the condensed sets. They run mesh a lot of different ways, and right here, they're running it like how Sark would at Texas, and right here, they're actually playing Texas. So right here, they're meshing right there with the outside guys. Middle of the bunch is actually taking the middle of the field. He's running right there, running that triangle pyramid, and then right here, you're getting a wheel out of the backfield from the running back. So if you're looking at it, if the back is releasing, free releasing, there's gonna be one. You're gonna go two right there to the crosser, and you have the pyramid right there, three, and obviously, you could possibly back to the backside mesh something opens up if safety's playing low taking this pyramid that could get you to that progression taking the middle field but right here if you see it there's the wheel and your linebacker drops with that so as soon as he releases he peels with it has him covered up doesn't really like it doesn't like that angle from that guy so he's getting off of it there's your second look mesh coming across take it right there with a, with a guy in your face good accurate ball third and three takes is trying to play man trying to keep him underneath the sticks if you're looking you can see as he's coming across who's going to end up trying to go with him. And it's this backer that sees him late after he tries to wall these guys that are going vertical. He catches that guy crossing late, has to go over the top of this guy coming across. Good job here by Penix. He's giving him a little bit of ground. Accurate ball right there, able to get a first down right there against Texas. Again, good way right there if they're playing man to man, which right here on the single, they're playing man, he's running. They might be playing zone to the rest of the field. So, Probably some sort of a zone look over here on this side. Man to that single side. Able to get open right there underneath. Right here on this look, they're releasing the back. Getting him out, he'd be there with number one read. Tight ends going across. Trying to help this guy get open, coming across. So there'd be two. Pyramid coming from right there. And then you've got a post from number two right there taking over the top. And on this play, you can see what Penix is looking for. This is kind of a weird structure right here. Looks like a three high. Could, could be man, could be zone. Thinking he's probably manned up there, manned up there, man, man, the way that they're reacting there at those corner spots. So once they go mesh, he's coming right here to the pyramid and he sees him vacate. I think he's thinking this is man to man. And as you see, Penix has his very first look is to that back. This end doesn't do a great job. He puts hands on and he's trying to get to it late. If there's nobody over the top right here, you say, hey, lay that thing out there, let your back run to it. There's a ton of space, especially at third and eight, and be able to get there. But right here, you're looking at it for whatever reason this guy's just kind of hanging out he's not really chasing like right here he you would thought would have thought that he was manned up right here on this tight end but he gives that up i'm not sure he's kind of peeking into the backfield he comes off and he's right there making a play dangerous throw great play there by that corner now of course if Penix would have seen this guy playing over the top he's supposed to be manned up right there hopefully you can get down to it Check it down to 83, he's probably gonna get the first down for you right there. But either way, this corner does a great job of just seeing it, uh, playing football, and is able to create a big play right there. Physical play, could have had a chance to possibly get into the football right there, but knocks it away, uh, gets to a fourth down right there. Smart play there by DB for Stanford. Double squeeze look again, they started with their back in the empty. Now they brought him back, trying to see the man in zone. Right here, if you see that, I'm thinking this is probably some sort of a zone. They sell him for a second and then he goes to the wheel right there so as he's going to the wheel obviously these guys are meshing he's coming across right there he's underneath going post trying to take it over the top and there's a sit tons of space there in the middle field but as you're looking at it quarterback likes that back he sees him going over the top he feels like one of his best players obviously running back going to be able to make somebody miss if they get the ball to him in an easy accurate spot where he can have literally more than half the field right there to make somebody miss he's going to get six yards but right there leads him a little bit far uh, he makes a good play, extending a little bit short of the first down probably. Uh, but right there we can see as they're going mesh, the very first look is the back. He likes that space to him right there, so he puts it on him, especially knowing and feeling this pressure right here didn't quite send the protection the correct direction. And Oregon State, obviously, really good defense. Played a lot of people extremely tough this year, including Washington. He was able to get a guy free. But if you have a free completion, especially feeling pressure, take it every single time. Gets up there close to the first down. Bunch set again. Wheel, so one. Coming across on the mesh. Getting a mesh right there from the outside guy. He's going post. He's going sit right there in the middle of the field. Obviously, the back releasing. You're progression one to two. So 
this guy's job is really trying to get this guy open against man to man. So as this is played, you'll see they go to the zone look. He's outside leverage right there, can't throw it to the back. On that, he's coming across, you can see he's looking for who's chasing, nobody's really chasing. See zone, so he sets it up after he gets past the center. So right there you can see he's curling it up, giving himself an option, a viable option if you throw it to that shoulder. Just like you go and settle in noose all day, could catch that thing, get the first down. Right here, obviously, with this guy going vertical, takes one of these backers out of the box. He's trying to match right there. These guys are matching these meshes. There's that pyramid right there, right in the middle of the field, wide open. Official has the duck, one of those things. Sometimes they're athletes, sometimes they're not. Uh, right here, this dude's obviously an athlete. That's why he's getting paid the big bucks. He ducks. Real accurate ball, puts it literally right on his chest, just like you're playing catch from about 10, 15 yards away. Explosive play there for Washington against Michigan State. So again, you're seeing if you're just looking at it as, as a quarterback, you're going wheel, it's zone. He's not out leveraged. Now I'm coming to this mesh right here. He's getting checked. Where's the pyramid? There it is. The ball out. Right on his chest. Easy completion. They were like sending the back to the bunch against UCLA. And right here they start an empty motion and back. And they're running a wheel right there. And if you're looking at it, send them. Ball snapped. I'm looking that direction. You're getting a little bit of blitz here off the back side. Not an issue. They actually have it picked up. This side would be hot, so if they're bringing blitz with that back releasing, we're cool with that. So good job sliding that protection away from the hot. Right there, catches it. Sees him going wide right there. The back's really not an option right there. Right here, zero is coming across. 11's right here. He sees the guy outside there, so he sits it down. Right here's the quarterback. This should be your second look. There to zero. I guess he's feeling a little bit of pressure here, getting this condensed on the right tackle, because that ball right there would be the one to throw. There is literally nobody left. If you go back and look at it, outside backer's gone. With him going to the pyramid right here, he chases there as well. So really, for with number zero, if you could dump that thing down to him, there's nobody left. He'd probably fold in, but right there, he's splitting them, you know, up on the safeties. With the receiver setting it down, you can see he reads out there. There's no reason just to run into coverage, set this thing down, give myself a chance to be a viable option to the quarterback, puts it on his body, gets an easy completion right there. And then, of course, being the athlete, makes a guy miss, spins, gets the end zone right there. Good end zone view again right here. Look to the back, don't like it. Way out leverage, that guy's way outside of him, so now I'm looking for two. He's coming across. That pressure, as you see, when he starts moving right there, getting condensed, definitely don't want to get stepped on. You see that left foot of that right tackle? That thing gets pretty tight. He might even steps on just a little bit, so he's just trying to get the ball out of his hands, thinking that there's pressure. Gets a completion there underneath, and again, guy making a play. All right, the inside guy's actually running a mesh, coming across, going right there. The back is actually going to the bunch. They had been sending him to the single. This time they're sending the back out there to the bunch. Again, quarterback's checking right there, making sure that everybody's widening. And right there with that guy running hard, doesn't really like the back. This is on a fourth and four. Keep running. Don't slow down there at the running back spot. Clear that thing out, especially if you have a guy replacing right here. So if you're looking at 11, coming across on mesh, it is man-to-man. -man. Uh, so right here, if you're talking with 11 about what he wants to do, you really want to try to get this guy open. And right here, he actually tries to slip this guy. What I would say is, hey, you want to j actually jab at this guy. Try to get him to go a little bit more over the top. You don't have to be that tight. Just understand the mesh is to create space on whoever's chasing man-to-man. -man. So right there, give him probably a jab, make him go a little bit higher. But right here, Penix again, got to be accurate right here with this ball because it's pretty tight coverage. Could have been a little bit more space for you. That receiver understood his job as far as getting that guy open. But good catch. They get the first down right here in about six or seven against man-to-man. -man. Exactly what you're looking to, to run this against, obviously, you have this guy getting out, open that thing up. There's your guy meshing from the single receiver corner, does a great job chasing. You know, I hear a great look from the end zone. So again, quarterback catches it, looks here, doesn't like that, out leveraged. All right, so now I'm finding my second read coming across right here. A lot of space, give it to him, it's a third and four. Good accurate ball, letting him run away. If that thing's right on his chest or back shoulder or anything like that, there's a chance to knock that down and possibly get him down before uh, first down right there on a third and four. But good throw and catch, good accurate ball right there from Penix. Here's a look against Portland State on a third and 10. In the first quarter, obviously, a really good FCS team. These guys are playing man-to-man. -man. They had shifted and seen that they were playing somewhat of a man-to-man. -man. Again, releasing the back, there's one. Zero's running hard to it. Get off of it. There's your mesh coming across. And really good job here by the single. He's coming across. He sees the outside guy releasing right there. He sees seven. It's probably the guy manned up on him. He sees him chasing. Not sure if this is all on purpose. Obviously, you're getting a little bit of hands on that guy as well. He's kind of getting off, but he does a great job of almost putting a hip on him. He doesn't actually touch him, but as you can see, he jabs at him. And he has the void right there. He jumps around it. And the accurate ball there from Penix allow your guy to run, even though 
as you see right here, Penix is kind of throwing off his back foot. He doesn't really stride through it. It's one of those things you got to be able to throw sometimes without it being perfect. So you got to work that in practice. Great job getting in the zone right there. But one of those things on a third and ten, man to man right there, seven. He actually jabs at him, makes him jump around. No chance for him. Now 20 is trying to recover. And he's able to get to the end zone right there for Washington. I thought this changeup was really interesting, really cool from Washington, especially down here on the goal line. They have the back over here, and he actually releases opposite. He comes across right there. He actually releases inside that tackle to the flats. Everybody else is just basically running mesh. So right here, you're getting the mesh coming across. There would be your second option. He's running, I don't know if it's a pyramid, but he's actually running like some sort of an outbreaking route, or it looks like he's trying to. Right here, as you see it played, he's coming across trying to get to the flat. It's on the opposite side. He ends up slipping inside that tackle. Nobody at home right there. As you see, obviously probably playing some sort of man-to-man. -man. These guys are creating rubs right there. He's going to the out corner, whatever it is. But you see all these backers that step down. Now they're getting cut up in this mesh, getting cut up in that other traffic. Now there's one coming across as a second option. But that running back is so wide open, they take it right there. Not the most accurate ball, but it's a catchable ball. And he's able to walk to the end zone right there against a good Arizona team. But right there, I thought that was a really interesting changeup. Uh, especially down there on the red zone goal line. Give yourself an opportunity for him to cross, make those backers be right, and they have to run through a lot of stuff. Easy catch, and if you didn't like it, if a backer's running, getting on the top of it, now you have that mesh as your second option. Here's another look of the back releasing over there. Cross the ball, you're meshing right here. Pyramid, post right there over the top. One's gonna be for that back. So right here, obviously, if you're releasing the back and that's your very first look, Probably want to be hot that way, so they slide there. So they are hot right here, getting a guy off the edge. Penix does a good job of realizing it, getting his eyes back around, giving a little bit of ground, still throwing an accurate ball while he's dropping back, which obviously you got to work that in practice multiple ways. But right there, taking the completion, three is trying to get over the top. I think I still think this is some sort of a zone, uh, some sort of a match. Three right there gets a little bit out leveraged. He doesn't quite see that back crossing the crossing the ball. Gets that completion now. He's got to try to make a tackle for four, four yards. And anytime that happens, it's going to be really difficult. Great job by 22, finding a way to get that first down. If you wouldn't have liked this, maybe three stays outside and he's not able to get out leveraged. I right hear zero would be your second option, but he goes over the top. He definitely has got to be underneath. So now there's a little bit more rub because right here you can see there's a lot more space here than there is right there for zero, which when you go over the top, that guy has a chance just to get in that hip pocket and stay right there. But they're lucky that they were able to get this ball out. Obviously, they're hot. Get the ball out to your guy in space. Uh, see what he can do as far as making a play right there on third and four and is able to get a first down for it. Here's another look from Portland against Portland State. And right here at the back, instead of wheeling, he actually runs an arrow. And as you're looking at it, Portland State's playing zone. These guys are releasing, coming to the mesh. He's going post. He's going arrow right there. I would love to hear why you guys would run our arrow or when you'd want to do it. Quarterback just checks it down to him right there. They're playing over the top of all this, playing some sort of zone. Take it underneath. It's on a fourth and three. So take it right there, gets the first down easily. And right here, if you don't like it, there on that arrow from the back, now you have this mesh coming across. He would have got an easy completion there as well for a first down either way. But right there, take the completion, they ran an arrow from the back spot as, as opposed to a wheel. If you guys have any reasoning or thoughts on why you'd want to do that as opposed to the wheel, please let me know. There's another look here, arrow here from the back going mesh. Arizona State playing somewhat of a different defense. They roll down to a one high look, and it's a zone look. Penix likes it right here, so he takes it there in the flats. And of course, if you stop it, you say, hey, one of our better players on a safety rolling down, we're gonna get five yards right here. There's that mesh coming across. Do a really good job of getting him open. Fullback does a good job, and there's the pyramid there. Could have taken that, fallen forward, possibly first down, but he thought he had him out leveraged, so he gives it to him. Right here, you can see the safety, he's rolling down extremely hard. I think he's playing to win the game, possibly. Uh, but right here, trips up, falls a yard short literally just eats it i mean I, I can't say that i haven't done this multiple times probably in the past week uh maybe out there trying to play some of the ultimate frisbee and whatnot uh sometimes you trip up and just absolutely realize your body can't do what it want what you wanted it to do uh, but right there taking it to the flats uh with the arrow from the running back spot as opposed to the wheel able to catch that thing underneath as opposed to throwing it to him on a wheel where it might be a little bit deeper so Kind of an interesting change up there for Washington. Right here on this loop, they're in an empty set. I assume there's another receiver down here somewhere off the ball. Can't see him, but right here, there's no wheel or anything, but everything else looks the same as mesh. Going right there, getting the sick, getting a post, all that. Uh, so right there, get lucky. They actually get a fire right here from where they would want. It's where, where they call hot, because the number one read is two coming across. 
he vacates that space so Penix is able to give a little bit of ground, just taking your completion. All these guys having to run over the top right there trying to make it right. But again, mirroring your protection uh, to where your first reads are so the quarterback can see the blitz, give ground and get the ball out of his hand is obviously key. And that's what Washington did quite a bit this year. They did a really good job just understanding their protection, understanding where they were hot. And I think having Penix, having played for DeBoer at Indiana, obviously helped him kind of grasp this offense and understand where the hots were, where to set the protection, everything right there. So easy completion right there, replacing the blitz with the football, getting a first down for Washington.